So I think you're pulling them out of daycare. Fundamentally. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I was getting at before, and I'm glad, by the way, <laughs> I'm glad, by the way, that the poll basically vindicated me. So it turns out everybody does value family. What I was getting at is that I'm talking about what matters in life. And the question, which I, I wish we stuck with this line of inquiry, Destiny said, well, yeah, men don't like working because what they really like is the freedom that working provides. I said, well, the freedom to do what? He said, well, the freedom to pursue hobbies with friends and blah, blah, blah. And that's the choice. It's between the autonomy that working provides or the money provides versus the obligations of family. And here's the thing. And I said, if it was just hobbies, if it was just surfing and cards and Starcraft and all that, like I would kill myself. Here's why. I, w I didn't always feel this way. I didn't actually always feel very strongly about this, but I went to college and I thought about like what my life would look like, what I would have for store in my life. And this is what we can all say for certain about our life to some extent. Either we will die early, or if we live a long life, we're going to see both of our parents die, which is going to be brutal. And what's that going to look like when you're living with no parents? It's going to be miserable. Yeah. You're going to see most of your friends die. You're going to see your closest friends die young, some of them, or you'll see them die old. You will peak mentally and physically, and then every day after will be mentally and physically degraded henceforth after that sometime in your 20s and 30s you'll get sick you'll get achy you'll have pains you'll wake up and be in pain you'll be ugly you'll be unattractive if you're a man and women won't look at you if you're a woman men won't look at you that is what your life looks like and so when people say well i'm living for the freedom to do these hobbies and things that's why i say on a rational calculation if I'm looking at a life where my parents die, my friends die, I'm going to get sick, I'm going to get achy, I'm going to mentally and physically peak, I'm probably killing myself at 30. Because you know what? Getting a little bit of money and maybe getting a boat or going on vacation, it doesn't outweigh all the bad things. And that's fundamentally, I think, the difference between me and destiny is I believe that life is suffering. We're not here to have a good time. It's not a big fucking theme park. We're here in this fallen world where there's work, where there's toil. There's birth pain. That's what the Bible says is the woman's penance for the original sin. There's birthing pain. And we have to die a hard death. Our soul is ripped from our body and we face a judgment. Gosh. We can either accept that reality and live within it, within our physical and spiritual means. We can make decisions and enjoy the good things in the world, which is love, which comes through family and children. Or we can ignore all that and pretend like we're going to live forever and do OnlyFans and fuck around and go and have a good time and make money and fly around the world and pretend we're never going to die. But we are. And, and that, I think, is the fundamental difference. And, and, and that, you're right.